This robotic trading lesson will cover catapult capitulation. It is a chart setup that when you come across it, it's definitely worth one that you want to put on your watch list. And as we go through the video, you will see why that's the case. Like we do in all our other videos, we just want to first issue a warning. If you do not understand basic charts, don't understand what technical analysis is and what you're supposed to be looking for, uh, then don't go and just start throwing money at any of these uh, setups that you see. There is more to it than what we're going to present, but just in order to keep the video as short as possible, we're not going to go into every nitty gritty detail. So this is going to be more of a general video of what to look for. So again, if you don't understand charts, don't just go you know, grab your kid's college tuition money and then start throwing that into these sorts of setups. We're going to try to keep this video as short as possible, but just a quick overview. The first we're going to do is go over the alert and proof. It's one thing to say, hey, this setup's really good, but unless you can show that it's actually happened and is actually happening in kind of a real world setting, uh, you know, then it kind of, kind of becomes marginal in terms of, you know, just how good is the setup. We're going to then go over the setup and then show the aftermath of the real life example that we will provide proof for. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to log into our email address that we use for our newsletter. And this way you can see that we did indeed alert this. this. There's no funny games going on or anything like that. So here is our Gmail address. And uh, this alert we put out for the week of 2413 right there. And then if we just click on that real quick, you can see that it did indeed go out February 2nd which was a Saturday uh, right before noon. So there's uh, you know all the information about when this actually went out. If you're not familiar, uh, we run a newsletter, Bull Warrior Stocks, and every weekend we put out what are called Warrior Charts. We find f setups in di five different categories. And what you're looking at here is the actual email. And what we're gonna focus on for this one is WGAS. So going down a little bit further, you can see that here was a chart uh, when we first sent it out. And what we had pointed out was, you know big volume bar, a nice candlestick, and then we're just questioning, is this capitulation? Has capitulation happened? And now it is about a week and a half later. Here's the chart that we just pointed out. There's that big volume bar, the candlestick, and then you can see the downwards move. So those are the three things you're gonna to wanna to keep an eye out for, for a potential catapult capitulation. Obviously this doesn't happen 100% of the time. If it did, uh, everybody would use it and everybody would be billionaires, but it's a setup that when it does go, as you'll see, it can go big and really act as a catapult does. So again, big volume, suggesting cap capitulation, nice bullish candle there, and then you can see that it's been moving downwards. So those are the three avenues that you're gonna to wanna to keep an eye on. So let's just see what happened sideways 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 so not much happened but again not much happened bullishly but not much happened bearishly either so those are the three things you want to keep in mind is uh, it was neutral it was kind of boring but as you'll see boring can be good as long as it doesn't turn into a bearish type of boring so this is just simply sideways price action and then here is where the catapult finally launched look at that massive volume bar and then just a gigantic gain so boring to extremely exciting and I know this volume bar looks a lot less now, but remember, before that happened, it stuck out quite a bit. After that, big day, and then went up even higher the next day. You can see pulled back, and if you're familiar with charting, pulled back to a key level of support. I'm not going to go into that, but uh, if you understand charting, you can see that there's another opportunity to hop in uh, at a key level support. And then you can see there it actually bounced up there and almost retested those highs. So two opportunities uh, to really pull out some big profits from this one uh, based on you know, the original alert down there based on the uh, catapult setup. So let's just go over the aftermath here now. Uh, first thing we want to point, that was the alert day down there uh, on that hammer candle. And then just to be conservative, uh, we want to keep our calculations, you know, what, I can't stand it when you see somebody uh, proclaim an alert, but then that assumes that you played it absolutely perfectly. We're not going to do that. We're going to actually assume that you didn't get in until 009. But if you remember, it went sideways multiple times. So you could have technically gotten in at 005, 006, 007. But we'll just base our calculations off an entry point of 009. You can see when the catapult finally launched, took it all the way up to 0.039. And then as we talked about, actually went up again as high as 0.0385. So uh, one of these where when it really got moving, it moved fast for a gain of 333%. And again, that's based on a conservative entry. So if you had gotten down here at 005 or 006, 007 you get the point you know this number would have been even higher for you but we want to play things on more of a conservative note so you can see that 
the catapult setup truly did launch and create some nice profits for the subscribers and people that just notice this in general that use charts. And like we warned about at the beginning, if you don't understand charts, then you know this. There's a little bit more to this strategy strategy than what we pointed out, uh, but it is a general thing. But the one thing you need to consider is the investment that never stops giving, and that's just simply knowledge. Once you understand the stuff, understand what to look for, and understand all the dynamics, then you can do this over and over again and not have to rely on anything else. So just as to put things into perspective, let's say you put $500 in on this trade and only captured one-tenth of the entire move. So how's that for conservative? One-tenth of that entire move, not a half of it, not a quarter of it, not three-fourths of it, just one-tenth of that entire move. This would translate into a 33.3% profit. Uh, our course that we offer, and we're not saying you should buy our course, but it's been getting good reviews, uh, costs $150. Let's say you had $8 trading commission per trade, so that's $16 total, and 33.3% on your $500 trade would be a, a profit right there of $166.50. When you do the math, take that your profit minus the trade commissions minus the cost of the course, you have the course of or you have the cost of the course paid for plus 50 cents left over all in one trade. But more importantly, now you have this knowledge. So not only do you have your investment paid for, but you have the knowledge of how to utilize charts and you can just replicate this over and over again. So, uh, you know, it might seem like a lot up front, but when you can pay for it quickly and then it just keeps on giving and giving, knowledge never stops giving. Uh, hopefully that puts things in a perspective. So hope you join us. Hope you found this video helpful. And uh, we look forward to working with you with our newsletter and helping you out learn learning charts. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you found it helpful and pulled out some things that you can use in your trading strategy, whatever that may be. If you did find it helpful and informative, then I'd encourage you to check out a couple of these resources here. The first being our robotic trading course. As you can see, it's over eight and a half hours of teaching. So there's plenty of information. There's all sorts of stuff. And with it, you'll be able to build your own strategies, learn about charting in general, and just really be able to, like it says, profit in any market environment. Because remember, just because the market may be bad, you can always short and things of that nature. So uh, with the course, it goes over how to use charts. And when you learn the foundational things like that, then you can begin to build your own strategies that benefit you and fit into your personality and so forth. So um, I'd encourage you to check that out. And also on that note, uh, I'll be the first to admit I'm pretty biased when it comes to it. So I'd encourage you to check out the third party reviews and testimonials. Uh, those were all unsolicited, all uncompensated. So these were just people that were reaching out to us saying, hey, I bought the course and these are my thoughts. So I'd encourage you to uh, go to that link and just check out third party reviews because like I said, uncompensated. They reached out to us and wanted to offer feedback uh, because they were happy with the course. Also, uh, we have a Bull Warrior Stocks newsletter um, that is located at bullwarriorstocks.com. If you sign up for the free newsletter, you'll receive a free ebook with some charting strategies and so forth, a part of it. Uh, and like I said, that chart or the site is completely free, uh, no obligations, no hidden costs, uh, no strings attached, anything like that. You can subscribe, unsubscribe whenever you want to, uh, and you're not going to have any sort of cost or anything pop up. So I'd encourage you to check out that. Uh, but, you know, as a warning, I'd say that it's better to learn charting and so forth because the bull warrior stock site is revolving around charts so you got to know what you're doing when you're looking at charts so uh, place one would to start would be up with the course and then that way you can gain an understanding and add another tool to your tool belt so again thank you for listening hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions or anything on either of these things please get a hold of me thank you and have a good one